Hi, I'm Jay Mark from Real Street Performance. Today we're going to look at the AEM EMS4. For those of you that aren't familiar with AEM, they offer a full range of electronics to enhance the performance of your vehicle. I've been to their facilities more than once and I can tell you with the resources they have on staff, you'll continue to see exciting products from them in the future. The EMS4 is AEM's new universal standalone. It's designed for four cylinder engines and it shares many of the same features as the popular plug and play series 2 at a fraction of the price. Let's do a quick overview of the ECU. It has four injector outputs, four ignition outputs, it has eight user configurable inputs and outputs, four of which can be used to drive a PWM such as idle control, boost control, or cam control. So if you have an engine with single variable cam control, you can use the EMS4 to tune your cam timing. The EMS4 recognizes both mag and hall cam and crank sensors and has eight megabytes of internal logging. If your vehicle is equipped with smart coils or it has an internal igniter, you will not need to purchase any additional electronics to run the engine. However, if you don't have an igniter or if you're using dumb coils, AM has a solution available for under 200 bucks. There are two harnesses available, a short harness and a 96 inch long harness. Both harnesses are universal and you'll need to wire them into your engine. Both harnesses come with pre-terminated USB comms so you're not looking for a 10 year old laptop to tune your ECU. They also come with a CAN connector to stream data to an aftermarket digital dash or data acquisition system. For those of you that are installing EMS4 on an application that you don't want to modify the factory harness, we can supply a patch harness like the one displayed here so your factory wiring will remain undisturbed. If you're working on an older platform or a carburetor conversion, you can use the 96 inch long harness for a clean, reliable wiring. It comes with a fuse block and main relay and the cam and crank wires are shielded for a clean signal back to the ECU. The connector is fully populated and it comes with its pre-terminated USB comms and CAN connector already installed. The case of the EMS4 is lightweight and compact. The box is sealed and the connectors are weather tight. Perfect for you power sports guys. Current street price at the time of this video is $7.59 for the EMS. The short harness will run you around 90 bucks, and the long harness is $240, complete with fuse block and main relay. Since the EMS4 is a full standalone, you'll be using the same AEM tuner software you would on their Series 2. I do have the ECU installed on a Honda S2000 today as kind of a demo, but what I want you to visualize is it's just a four cylinder engine. So for you turbo motorcycle guys, that, that are drag racing and you're not allowed to say have anti-lag, which the EMS4 does have, through some creative tuning and use of the software, you can set your bike up to make boost on the starting line. Some other things that you're gonna do is the closed loop knock control, closed loop boost control, and closed loop fuel feedback, which a lot of guys use out there. Well, we've got the EMS4 running on a uh, Honda S2000, and I just wanted to highlight a couple things in the new software. Um, all these pages are gonna be user configurable, so whatever you wanna set up, to suit your needs, you can do that. Um, it's got some live trace features, so it'll toggle around the map wherever you've been on the map. A um, couple things that are really noteworthy are gonna be uh, the boost control. Um, the boost control, if you can watch here, we've got a gear target, and as we increase speed and or gear, we can turn the boost up. guys that are racing motorcycles with the EMS4 or if you're in a situation where you're fairly traction limited. Um, it also, we mentioned earlier about the internal logging. You can go in here and you can set up your internal logger. Basically it's going to log in a, in a loop so you can set it up to where you've got all your key parameters and the car's out on a racetrack or the customer's out doing what he does with his vehicle and when he comes in you can suck the last you know 15 or 20 wide open throttle events that he's done and that will you know allow you some data to give your customer and maybe you can fix some problems or correct some of his in the name of fail safes it's also worth mentioning that you can tailor boost back down so in um in fourth gear i'll have 19 pounds in this vehicle but if the guy kind of gets a little ahead of himself and he wants to put in fifth gear or sixth gear I can pull boost back out of it which will help you keep this thing alive. It's also going to use the same knock strategy as the series 2 so you can set up your knock control. Um, there's also some inputs and outputs that if you're creative with the software you can set up some fail safes to again you know protect your engine and protect your customer for, for different potential scenarios that the engine could be presented with. 
because of real street's direct relationship with aem it's often that we get the test product or have it in our hands before it goes to market so we do have experience with it and we are a stocking distributor if it's something that you'd like to purchase or have questions about give one of our sales guys a call